When people are shopping in the midsize category for a sedan, they often overlook this car, the Chevy Malibu. And you know what? It should be considered because it won J.D. Power & Associates' initial quality study for the last two years, and it also won J.D. Power & Associates' vehicle dependability study for the last two years. So we're here in Victoria, British Columbia to have a look at this all-new Chevy Malibu. Chevrolet has carved out a look for their cars, and this new Malibu is showcasing the latest look. They all seem to have a very angular headlight design in keeping with the Camaro. You have the split grille up front and a macho look around the back. Nice looking wheel packages as well. And that's all bolted on to a car that is much lighter than before. 300 pounds lighter. That enables them to go to smaller and more efficient engines. Well, the inside of this Malibu is bigger than the previous model, and it is an option for people who may be considering a crossover vehicle but want space. A car like this actually has plenty of leg, hip room, and headroom. Now, this car has got a very pleasant dash, and front and center is a screen. Now, General Motors claims that this is the most connected midsize car on the planet. It has 4G LTE connectivity, meaning that people can pair their device to the hotspot in the vehicle and, you know, watch videos, connect their devices, kids in the back and do that. So you have that. If you have the LS and above in this Malibu, you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. On top of that, when you get the 8-inch screen, it has a system called Teen Driver, and it lets the parents set parameters inside the car for things like speed, so the parent actually gets a report and can see if the teen has been driving above the speed limit, if any of the safety features have gone off, like the forward collision warning. It'll also tell you if, say, the traction and stability control has been activated. And on top of that, it does things like the radio will not operate unless the teenagers put their seatbelt on, and it limits the volume of the radio to limit distractions. So that's all the stuff that's embedded in this car. Uh, it's not all standard. It's optional on many trim levels, but that's high-tech stuff for a car for 2016. Now because this Malibu is 300 pounds lighter, they're able to go to a smaller engine. When I say smaller, I mean a lot smaller. A 1.5 liter four-cylinder engine. Can you believe that? It's turbocharged and direct injected and produces pretty good horsepower numbers. It has 163 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque, and torque is really what is the most important thing, and that's what small displacement turbocharged engines can provide you. Now, this is the engine that the majority of the people are going to buy. There is one engine that is available on the top Premier trim. That replaces the old LTZ. It's called Premier now. It's a two-liter direct-injected four-cylinder engine, and it has 250 horsepower. So that's kept for the top trim level. There's also also a hybrid. So this car really competes almost in lockstep with much of the competition when it comes to variation of power plants, but this car is the most efficient. We also have the fuel efficiency story as well. So where a lot of people might go a little bit downstream uh, for that fuel efficiency um, aspect, you know, we've got a brand new 1.5 that's got stop start technology. So you can be as low as 6.4 liters for 100 kilometers on the highway. So uh, we've got the fuel efficiency story covered. We've got a hybrid available as well. And like I said, on the other end, for someone that's looking to go upstream and maybe they're looking at a crossover, uh, there's a ton of interior space in this car and there's a great size trunk. So it can handle almost anything that a family uh, would need to in a vehicle. Now at the beginning, I mentioned that the Malibu has won all kinds of quality studies from J.D. Power & Associates, and General Motors as a company has been winning handfuls of these things, and it shows you when they turn their head towards engineering and design and in-dash technology, they can win, and if you're shopping for a mid-sized car, this one should be taken for a drive.